Hello everybody, I'm going to be doing a cast, replay cast, of Dominator vs. Gen Master. A replay I got from gamereplays.org, zero hour section. Alright, so Gen Master is going to be the Toxin General, and Dominator is going to be the China Vanilla General Army. And here we go. Of course, Don is in the purple too, and Jim Masters in the light blue, sky blue, cyan. Three different names for that color. All right, so we got a fast barracks by Jim Master here, and Dominator looks like he's going for an aggressive build in the middle here. Oh, he puts down a supply center actually. So he's going to be sending out some supply trucks to get some worker kills I assume. And oh, what's this? A barracks? Hmm. He's building a barracks as well so that should be interesting. I wonder what he has planned here. Oh, helix. Alright. So that could be interesting. It looks like he wants to try to deny the second supply tunnel, at least. Come, he wasn't fast enough to do deny the worker on the supply, but that's okay. And now we got a terrorist from Gem Master. Ooh, he stops controlling it, looks away. And the supply truck is trying to run over some workers here. As well as this dozer keeps running, and Helix will be coming out soon uh so he has five missile defender i mean tank hunters here with the horde bonus so hopefully he gets them in all at the same time so they get that uh extra horde bonus for faster shooting and i guess a little more damage uh from the tank hunters let's see let's see yep oh yeah he got it still because he got it in while it was still in the horde bonus Alright, so it looks like Gen Master actually wants to tunnel up the right flank here. So he's got about. Oh, he had five tunnels, but now I guess he's got four and he loses this one as well. So now he has nothing to guard on the right flank from this helix. And he decided to go for the oil actually, so that's why he's. He didn't get the tunnel up here. He didn't have the money at first because he got the oil upgrade. It's a good idea to do that, but when they go helix, you are kind of more vulnerable because of the extra money spent, an extra thousand dollars, and uh, two fifty for each rebel, I guess, or one fifty. So three hundred, thirteen hundred, and. Dominator looks like he's just taking out as much as he can here in the middle to make it so he can uh, take the middle later on in the game without dealing with those garrison buildings with the RPGs. So that's a good good play by Dominator. Although Gen Master did get one oil up and running, it doesn't matter. Well, it does matter. Gives him a little bit more economy there. So he just keeps building up. Oh. And Dominator is just still on one helix and flame tank. Nice job by Dominator getting a free kill on that quad can. Oh, and then Gen Master actually gets his right tunnel up. So he could actually attack. Uh, I don't know if he wants to do that yet. Looks like Dominator is being very aggressive here. But Gem Master decides to be aggressive also and he goes for the Gatlin defense here. Oh, he goes back then. <laughs> and it looks like Gem Master's rebel here was actually stopping the supply trucks from gathering, so puts uh, Dominator's economy a little bit back behind there but he's collecting again now so even if he has that weak supply truck 
and whoa, Dominator went out of power. He's building s so many supplies in the middle with only one power plant. Let's see how he micros these helixes. He's got to keep them alive in order to fight Gen Master's big quad armies and RPG armies here. Looks like Gen Master's going for a big push in the middle here to clear out these supply centers and whoa, he's taking the oil now. And Dominator here just building up his army. He knows he's going to have to build a few flame tanks and just wait for the right moment to attack this army. You do not want to engage this army uh, unless you know that you have enough to defeat it. Because those quad cans, once they get uh, like promoted, like they get stars, see that little star there? When they get veterancy. Oh, it's not a star, but whatever. Uh, once they get veterancy, they actually are like unstoppable. So, as you can see, uh, oh, I don't know if he's gonna go for it with just quad. Let's see, Let's see two, two. Uh, I just call it two star. But yeah, that that quad right there is extra strong. Shoots faster, kills more, and is actually stronger health wise, health points. <clears throat> so that's very dangerous. That's why you have to make sure that you have enough to take out the army so that you don't just give them promotion points and a veteran quad. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that was a. They got so, some kills there on Dominator, and Dominator ends up killing the army at least, so that's good. Now Jam Master is on Door Factory, so... Oh, and Dominator did get that oil with Lotus. So, that was good for his economy there. Not sure why Jam Master is sending one quad out. He knows his helixes are there, but... See, you can't... It's not a good idea just to send, like, one unit at a time. When you know there's helixes up. Because this helix is, will just take take out any one unit. Even a two star quad. Or veteran quad. But. Yeah, I don't know what the heck. Oh, he's. Jam Master's distracted by the Lotus. And he's letting Dominator take out a good amount of tunnels here, getting promoted. So he can get Carter Bomb. Hmm. Not good, not good. Jam Master has to get, get in that tunnel. And there he goes. Almost. Oh, we got one helix, but it wasn't the helix that is important. I'm always happy when my helix gets taken out. <clears throat> when it's not the helix that has the bunker. Because <laughs> if you lose that bunker, like, yeah, you lose a, <clears throat> a big, big uh, amount of money. About 1500 plus the uh, $300, $300 each tank hunters. So $1,500. Oh, 3000 basically. With the Helix and. Oh, 3400 because the Helix with the uh, bunker is 1900 plus 1500 uh, from the rocket uh, guys, the tank hunters. It looks like Dominator is going after Gem Master's economy, taking out that oil there. And he gets away from his quad, so that's good, good micro. Uh oh. Gem Master's putting himself in a bad situation here. See, he has no tunnels to escape out from and to put his quads in. Like, it's always a big danger to send your quads out and have no escape route for them because yeah another thing is that when you send them out like that if the helixes go for your base and you don't have you know any quads in your base you can't get your uh, quads you sent out back fast enough but yeah we got Dominator here trying to take out those quads and he did successfully 
So it looks like Gen Master is actually having a successful time with these quads. Doing some supply damage and Wow. Uh it doesn't look good for Dominator at this point, to be honest. There's a, a lot of quads out. Killing Dominator's base, killing the middle, and Dominator only has one bunker helix. Ooh, he gets two star, two veteran seal. That's good. That helix is extra strong now, and it heals by itself. But even if the speaker tower wasn't here, that's a very good. As you can see, that quad there. Ooh, two, two uh, veteran seal quads there. They kill so fast. Look at this. But it's good that Dominator has that two star um, helix there. That's really good. And Gen Master is just sitting back. Sure, he feels pretty confident at this moment with the uh, bases. Because Dominator is barely, he doesn't, he's not on any money actually. So. It looks like it's in the bag for Gem Master. He's got two supplies. This supply is ending right here, but he's got two, uh, two supplies up here, and this Helix is the only thing that Dominator has to defend. And he takes care here so he doesn't lose his dozer by sending it out and not watching. Oh, and a big attack. Oh, big attack by Gym Master. Very strong quad in the middle here. And a perfect carpet bomb by Dominator. Just about perfect there. And this, this Helix is very strong. So it can take out three quads easily from a close... Uh, proximity there. If you're far away, it's a little bit more dangerous to attack quads like that, but that was good. Uh, goodbye, down there, because he got close enough, fast enough that the quads <clears throat> were not attacking his helix right away. And it's self healing, so that's really good. Really good helix there. And Master is. Actually, only on one supply now, and the oh, in a market. As you can see there, that that one claw was really worthless to send out. It did absolutely nothing to the helix. Whoa, that helix is very powerful. It got a three-star uh, tank gunner in it right now, so that's some that's a dangerous helix there. You got to be careful with your quads. Especially when you're in one supply and he has no he has like no map control right now. And Dominator's actually tr starting to come back here. Very good play by Dominator coming back but and using that helix very aggressively. Looks like the artillery strike is going for the tunnel? Interesting. I think Dominator's thinking about a surprise attack on Gem Master's base because he knows Gem Master's sending these quads out. So, basically, Gem Master's base is a soft target right now. It's an easy target. All he has to do is kill that tunnel right there. And Gem Master can never get back to his base. Although he doesn't even, doesn't even have a tunnel out here, so he can't get it back to his base anyway. But that was, yeah. Dominator has some good strategy going here for him because of the middle being free from most uh, tunnels and stuff. And it looks like Dominator is going for a assault right here 
Jam Master sees it though, because he has the uh, nice worker sent out to scout. <clears throat> and whoa, one, two bombs. Ooh, two bombs takes out two claws. Oh, Dominar oh, narrowly got that helix away there. Whoa, man. It's a very dangerous position here. I don't know why Gem Master's not spamming tunnels right now. Those tunnels are very powerful, so he should really be spamming tunnels and stinger sites, actually. Since he knows there's a helix going around the map. Maybe he thinks that Dominator uh, like is out of money. He doesn't know this is on the side here. So he's like, he's like, yeah, I can win this. No, I don't need to build stinger sites. Ah, uh, three clouds down to his mines. Wow. Gem Master playing a little bit uh a little bit lazy there. Sloppy. Sloppy work letting his quads run into mines like that. And we got Dominator just building up his money as a supply and holding his helix back here. So It, it looks looks like it looks pretty equal right now. Besides the money, I think. Uh, yeah, it's pretty equal. Both on two supplies. So this helix here is going to actually. Uh, yeah, he's just scouting around, sending out his flame tanks. Nice job. I think he could actually. No. His quad popped there. Oh, and a carbon bomb comes in to take out the tunnel. And he runs right into the firestorm. That is very, very bad for Gem Master. That was extraordinarily. Deadly firestorm right on Gem Master's quads there, and the Helix comes in, and takes them right out. Bombardment Helix there. Whoa, whoa! I don't usually see a three veterancy <laughs> Helix. Wow! Is this a EMP drop? Boom! It is. Nice. <clears throat> Very nice. It's always uh. Good. <clears throat> Good to use the EMP, uh, but he didn't get any guys with it. But wow! You are victorious. Nice three-star helix <laughs> play by Dominator. Good game. That was actually a really short game. Well, Jim Master's mistakes there were, like I said, when you throw, when you bring out your quads away from tunnels, you can actually leave your base very vulnerable and also you leave uh, your clouds vulnerable uh, when you send like one or two like he like Jim Master did on the side so you always want to keep things grouped up on your GLA versus helixes and um, like like Jim Master didn't build many tunnels you should probably build more tunnels around the middle and on the sides if you get the chance and do not let them die to the helixes that's why you don't want to send them out and about like Gem Master did. You can just defend and you'll be fine as GLA if you hold the middle. You do not need vase rush as fast as Gem Master did there especially when you're not taking map control while you're base rushing so I just yeah that's Gem Master's mistakes right there and Plus he didn't get a tunnel up on the right side because he went to oil fast in the beginning, so. And Dominator did okay. But to be honest, if Gem Master would have played more of a bunker bunkery game there, 
um, Dominator strategy would not have worked. First, most uh, experienced GLA versus China players. So, I mean, it was good the Helix, the Helix uh, rush, but like I said, most of the time it won't work because players uh, bunker a little more than that, and Jim Master just did not bunker, and he was very um, sloppy with his quads, and he sent them out way too fast to um, Dominator's base. Although he could have won, but Dominator survived pretty well with the carpet bomb and his helix. So that's just my analysis on there, and I will see you guys in another replay cast. Uh, I want to do a few of these, and um, yeah, you can, if you want, you can... Uh, Send me replays to cast if you want me to. Uh, at my Skype, Boyka uh, Yuri is my Skype. So if you guys want to send me any replay files from GameReplays.org to cast, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. And if you like this video, like it, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you later.